So, <clears throat> I just watched the trailer for The Fast and the Furious 2017. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Like, what the genuine fuck just happened? Like, for the first couple of seconds, you know there that something is off. When one of them says their full names, and it's like... We already know who the fuck they are. Why? Why the fuck? What the fuck is going on? It, it's not really gonna feel like a fan, uh, like a Fast and Furious movie. It's. I know. I know. After the unfortunate passing of Mister Undercover, it's just. I hope they put in his sister at least because I I don't want his sister to stay away from the franchise too long because that chick's awesome. I, I mean, and look, I know, I know they have they have to shake it up, but did they have to shake it up by doing the lamest most boring thing ever, like just taking one of the main heroes and turning him against his friends and now we all know that he's not really a bad guy, he's just uh, doing something because someone uh, is uh, threatening them and stuff, I don't know, I, I just... It just feels like... He fought to got them fucking hard to get where he is right now. So why would he just surrender like that? Like, we can all predict the plot of this movie. He's been blackmailed and now he's forced to get his friends and things. But seriously, seriously... We know Don, we know him, it's Don, it's Dominic Toretto, it's, he's not a bad guy, there's absolutely no fucking chance, 100% that he's the bad guy. It just feels like they're just marrying the franchise, it's just, like, he's triple X, so. Marry the franchise. I don't know. It's just. On the comeback of the triple, triple X franchise, you have Nina Dobrev making a lesbian eyes at another girl who seems very hot and. Like she's gonna be a sniper or something, and then you have this stuff. This this just feels like a massive, massive letdown. I'm just saying, it just feels like a massive letdown. We can predict what's going to happen. Yes, but it's not just because it's predictable. It's because it's predictable in such a way. That it, uh, it just doesn't feel genuine. And also, the bald guy, you brought back the bald. Like, like, I would fu fucking love a comeback transporter movie with a good fucking storyline, not like every other movie, his entire world is completely made meaningless and things, but no, just no, just no, I just, no, 
I, I just I, I just can't I, I, I just cannot support this.